Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about the mean value theorem. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. I'm given this problem right here, y equals x squared minus 9 over 3x, and we want to find the value of c that satisfies the mean value theorem on our interval from 1 to 4. Well, first thing I want to find is what is my f of 1 and my f of 4. We're plugging those values in for x of our original function right here, and I found them for you. f of 1 is a negative 8 thirds, and f of 4 is 7 twelfths. Okay? From there, what we want to do is find our derivative of our function. So, the derivative of the function using the quotient rule, uh, derivative of the numerator is a 2x times the denominator, 3x, minus derivative of the denominator, 3 times the numerator, x squared minus 9, all over denominator, 3x, all squared. And then we set that equal to f of b minus f of a, so 7 twelfths minus a negative 8 thirds, over b minus a, 4 minus 1. All right, so now let's go simplify where we can. 2x times 3x is a 6x squared. Minus 3 times x is 3x, or 3 times x squared is 3x squared, but keep the minus sign going. Minus 3 times negative 9 is a positive 27. All over to the denominator, 3x squared is a 9, a 3x all squared is a 9x squared. What is that equal to? Well, I simplified all this for you. Practice your fractions if you need it. And that's a 13 over 12. At this point, uh, I simplify actually this a little bit. 6x squared minus 3x squared is a 3x squared plus 27. I almost got ahead of myself here. And 9x squared, and that's equal to 13 over 12. So now at this point, I'm going to cross multiply. 12 times a 3x squared uh, plus 27. So 12 times 3x squared is a 36x squared. And 12 times a 27 is a 324. 9x squared times 13 is 117x squared. All right. From here now, we're solving for x. Okay. I'm going to subtract a 36 to both sides, 36x squared, and I have 324 is equal to an 81x squared. Divide both sides by 81, and I have a 4 equals x squared. Take a square root of both sides, and x equals a plus or minus the square root of 4, which is a 2. Now we have two values. We have a positive and negative 2. So we can write like this, positive 2 and a negative 2. Only one of them is within our interval. And that's a positive 2. Negative 2 is outside the interval. And so we can't use a negative 2, only the positive 2. And so our c value of being 2 is the value of c that satisfies the mean value theorem. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.